So oh, what I got today is a Kia uh, K5 2022. We are going to install an amplifier system and we will be running a, a remote wire to the fuse right here just, just in case uh, we're using a Kislock 2 which got a, a built-in uh, a remote output but still I'm going to still run the remote wire right here and a power right here through the firewall run it to the back and then we're going to tap the uh, speaker wire from the left rear right here which is we're not going here we're going over here and then run it all to the back seat and put the amp in the back seat we're going to put an alpine and a jl speakers okay now you're going to need a prior what you do you want to pry this up i kind of pre-pry it already kind of show you because i'm doing one hand it's basically pretty simple and easy once you pry this out, you can pull with your hand, right hand, and pull it out, both hand, whatever. And don't pull it out too much, just leave it about right there. And then what you want to do, you want to take this, a flat hat or something, and pry it out like this, piece by piece. See, there's one, and then there's two right there, and then it should come right out. And then to the uh, trunk release, hood release right there, all you do is pry it up like this, and it will come out because it's only a clip. And then now... You want to uh, pry this one out first, right there, and then this, you can see it right there. Pry that out, take up that flat head. Right there, and then see if it come out like that, you're gonna have to put it in first before you put it back, those clips. And then for this piece, you want to pry, take a flat head and pry it backward, back toward you like that, because if you pry it out like this, you're gonna break them. And then now you got all this access right there to the, uh, you see that, that booth right there? That's where I'm going to run my power wire through. I'm going to push my power, uh, my, uh, a coat hanger, whatever you have, and just push it out right there. And then I will spray some W40, uh, so it's a little bit slippery, so you can pull the wire out easily. So what you want to do, you want to, before you poke this, what you want to do, let's say you want to do it right there. So you want to put an X on it like this. Put an X, a small X, that way it pokes through easier. But in this case, it's not that bad, so that way it won't pull your wire back. What I usually do, uh, usually if you buy the harness yourself, it's going to come like that. You want to cut it, and then you want to uh, cut a uh, strip two two inches of uh, uh, across like the uh, uh, round like that and then you want to strip it out like this and then you just pull the uh, rubber out and now here's the wire what you wanted what else you want to do is you want to just cut this whole piece off and leave a small strip like that so it's easier to go in the holes just like so and then right there uh, you just put And tape it now you don't have to tape too much because once you spray this W40 just don't spray too much just got like a jab of it just a little bit of it basically right there right here is easier too and so I pulled the wire and then I got remote wire about right there to the fuse and then I pull the wire about a, a, a foot out like this so I can put the fuse right there and then tap to right there. That's later. Now back over here, we're going to run the remote. Oh, where's my remote wire at? It must be pulled all the way over there. Yep. Here's remote wire. Now you want to hide it in this carpet right there. Sometimes you can uh, come up here like that and go down here so it will be in there. But the next thing you want to do is try to take this out right here. Same thing as I showed you earlier. Now in order to get this out, you want to pop pry this out with a flat hat and it's going to come out about this much. What you do, you want to go inside, make sure this seat is all the way front forward. And then you're going to lift this thing up. 
you're gonna lift this up with two hands and then you push it forward about an inch and a half forward and then the whole thing would should come out as you can see once it see that hook right there that hooked when you push about an inch about right there it should come straight up then just lift this thing up and pry this thing out or you don't have to you just run the uh, your wire through here and go out there so now I got a t-tap and a, a fully insulated male quick disconnect I'm gonna run the uh, to the speaker wire I always use that and I'll be using one channel which is one side of the speaker you don't have to do both sides it sound the same there's nothing different I tried and tried and tried so now you want to take a blade and you're looking for black and yellow they should be twisted wire that twist together it's only there should be only one that is twist together which is this yellow and black right there black and yellow now you want to hook up the black wire you know most people don't have what I got you can strip this thing out use a lighter and and tie it to that black is for positive and yellow is negative so see the speaker if you have a red and black speaker wire the red wire will go to the black and then the black wire will go to the uh, yellow it's kind of opposite don't think about this color are all the same it's not every car is a little bit different so positive would be black negative side of the speaker is yellow so now I'm gonna put everything back over here from here and Now I want to explain this, the wire that we ran from the uh, left front right there, left rear right there, the red one we're going to hook up to the white and gray, uh, now this model is Kiss Lock 2 made by Kickers, Kiss Lock 2, not Kiss Lock, it's K-I-S-L-O-C 2, and then the white and black, gray and black go to the black right there, the black and red, and then you got this black wire, going to go with the ground right there. And then the remote wire go to its own remote. And then now I got the RCA jack hooked up and I ran it to the input of the amp. All we an input this output if you hook up to another amp, but this is input. And uh, I'm gonna run the speaker wire. I screw this to this. I use a one inch screw right there. You can use a drywall screw as long as it's uh, less than one and a quarter inch. You should be good in many, many, many cars. So. Now I'm just ready to put the speaker and the uh, run the wire from the amp to the speaker. I'm ready to put the uh, uh right here. You got the uh, I just screw it right there. It's easier because if you look from here, you can't even tell I put anything in there. So we just want to make sure it's it's stable. It's not when they move, they drive, stop, break, or something like that. It's not slide all over the place. So I'm gonna run that speaker wire right there to an amp. And then I make sure it's long enough so they can pull it out here if they want it to instead of cutting any wire or short any wire or rip it. Back over here I just use uh, whatever uh, fuse holder you're using but make sure the wire is not sticking out too far because it could touch any metal and then it short something out. So right here is a 10 millimeter. Take the 10 millimeter off and stick this ring in there and now I ask as I ask. As I mentioned earlier uh, about the remote wire right there, I have to run it back over to the uh, inside of the car because out there there's no uh, fuse that is uh, turned on when you turn the key on. So the only one I found on so far is the uh, right there, it would be number 20. It's a power out outlet meaning that when you turn the key on it come on. So. That's number 20 right there below the uh, the 7.5 which is below the uh, below the uh, start and the AC uh, number 10 right there. So if you do not have the uh, uh, I forgot what you call this uh, anyway uh, 
the model number is AAF-1 because you only need one dash micro two. It's a fuse. It's a fuse holder, and it's basically you just put it back right there. But you definitely need like another fuse right there. So I'm gonna pull uh, number ten right there, right by the fifteen. Uh, if you look at this picture right there that's a spare right there below the airbag 7.5 so next to the 15 which is the washer take that out and plug it on here that piece now if you don't have that you can uh, cheat by strip this wire right there and then tie one to the leg right there but you want the leg to be on this side on the right side if you look behind from the steering wheel behind the steering wheel is on the right side so if something happened it pop the fuse instead of burn something up or burn the fuse uh, panel right there so that you're gonna have to use this if not uh, I know this amp it's been turned on for more than five minutes and I don't like it so hook it up this way is the best once everything is done it should look like that and then the remote wire you took the old remote wire out and put this new remote wire the wire that we ran from here put in the remote on the amp please like and subscribe thank you